Hello there everyone, Quinnicky D here, welcome back to another video. Today I am here with part 3 of Let's Play The Sims 4, Simvivor Season 8, Oh Miska. And oh Miss God, we have a twist today. As I teased at the end of the last episode, our two tribes have become three. Yes, that is right. We now have Ito, Yolo, and Mez. We have a green tribe named Mez, and it is called Mez because as I teased in the first episode, there are three gods that the ancient Omiskin people used to worship. One of them was named something and something, but shortened them to Ito, Yolo, and the third one, was Mez. I would not leave that third one out, absolutely not. So we have randomly generated three brand new tribes. I used a completely random list generator and we got three new tribes. They're all about to wake up, but I will show you who we have on them. We have Juliana and Zach on the red tribe, or Ito. We have Lindsay and Abby besties on the blue tribe, which is YOLO. And we have Ahmed and Emily on the green tribe, Mez. So, in this episode, they will compete in three different tribes, and I'll explain the rules of the challenge later, but just know only one person will end up going home. Everybody is just now waking up, Emily and Ahmed, and I mean, a bunch of people have the brand new outfits to walk around camp in, some new colors, I'm so excited for today's challenge as well because it is something that we have never done on Survivor, and it is a Survivor classic. Um, so we're just gonna have to wait to see that until the challenge. Um, but yeah, let's let's have a normal Survivor morning, y'all. Go about and do your chit chatting. Go do your morning peas and have fun. All right, camp is looking lively. We got Juliana and Zach and Ahmed by the grill. We have Emily silently observing, which I've oh, I've been saying that we've been saying that Emily is like really quiet and not talking to anybody. But really, I think Emily has just been a silent observer this whole time. I feel like she's in the game. She's still alive and well. She's just, you know, kind of on the back burner. She's not doing anything too, too crazy. She doesn't want to be too, too out there. She's flying under the radar, laying low. And you know what? That's a tactic. It's worked in some people's games, so maybe it'll work for her. And I feel like both Zach and Ahmed have also kind of been doing that just a tad bit more social. Like, they're definitely flying under the radar. They're the two guys in the tribes. But um, I think that they've also been a little bit quiet. But they have solid relationships, like Zach playing basketball last episode and having, like, remember they were all in one giant group in the beginning and, like, Ahmed cooks for everyone every morning and he has a great relationship with Lindsay. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, the blue tribe over here has escaped and made their own camp by the bathrooms. Um, I love this friendship. I think it's so cute. It would be such a shame to see them go to tribal council and be up for elimination this episode because they are so good together. They are so good and they can't really help each other out because they're on the same tribe. So, um, yeah, they are, they're really, if they lose, they're gunning for each other. Basically, there's no way to save, they can save each other. So I hope that they win because I just love that the friendship that they've, I, I mean, come on now. Come on, they're literally on cue. I love the friendship that they've built, and I, I think it's really, really cute. Um, I mean, and even them over here, everybody here has built such great relationships like Zach and Juliana chatting. The only tribe, really, that we haven't seen being talking to each other is Ahmed and Emily, and that kind of worries me for them because... You know, you got to really be in sync with the challenge that we're going to have today. So I'm hoping for their sake that they're just not showing that they're super social, but their sims are still really close and compatible with each other. All I'm really seeing with Ahmed is him talking to Zach, who we've established is kind of his little bromance bestie over here. Um, but I haven't been seeing him talking to Emily at all. I mean, meanwhile, these girlies, like literally a whole hour later, are still chatting by the bathrooms. I'm not going to send them back to camp if they want to chat over here. They can chat over here. The entire jungle is at their disposal. Oh, but we do have a little game of chess going on. I feel like Juliana was like, these guys are talking a little bit too much. We got to band together, girl. We got to figure things out on our own. They're like, Abby and Lindsay are across the jungle. Ahmed and Zach are chatting at the dinner table, at the breakfast table. And these two are just kind of in the middle. Like, 
Julianne is probably like, we have to do something. Like, let's go play chess and let's talk some strategy. And I really like that. And I hope that they can work things out. Because like I said, we've really seen Emily be a silent observer. And in the last episode, Juliana kind of separated from the tribe. If you guys remember, she just hung out in ba by the bathrooms for the entire day and didn't talk to anyone last episode. So maybe they're using their, like underdog potential and starting to band together now they're not on the same tribe but still since everybody is voting today anything can help so i think that that'll be really interesting three little duos going on and it's not even the duos that like i meant to happen like these are not the necessarily the tribes it's just like it's really really cool to see like at this point in the game where we've actually split up into duos duos are naturally forming like that's how crazy survivor and sim viber is how just sims naturally gravitate towards certain sims like they're having a funny conversation for the first time emily is stepping up her social game like this is so crazy to see and the guys are like i don't know this is crazy it's gonna be such like these are some of the best sim vibers we've ever had like i'm serious i i'm going that far as to say it this is like the probably most social group of sim vibers ever like last season they would just sit around and do nothing in seasons past i'd be fast forwarding these guys talk and talk and talk and talk like i am kind of in love with it all right welcome to sim vibers first ever puzzle challenge this is called First ever puzzle challenge. We have three puzzle tables set up on the tribe right here. And the Sims are going to have to complete a puzzle um, of their tribe emblem, basically. And whichever tribe finishes first wins immunity and also wins time at the sanctuary. Whichever tribe gets second place also wins immunity but does not go to the sanctuary and whichever tribe gets last is up for elimination at tribal council so all six sims will go to tribal council and will vote but only the losing tribe so only the losing pair will be up for elimination so that means all six people will vote for either one of two people and again the winning tribe the first winning tribe goes to the sanctuary and enjoys time together second winning tribe just is safe no sanctuary so there is high stakes on the table, and I'm very excited. I'm going to set up this puzzle challenge, and I'm going to seat them in their respective chairs, and we're going to get started. Okay, so I have had the Simvivors take a picture of their tribe emblem to complete a puzzle of it. Everybody just sat down. This is the soonest I can get everybody sitting. I am pausing, and I am saying, Survivors ready? Go. This is where having the logic skill being built at camp is going to help you. Sims who have built their logic skill by just literally playing chess around camp are going to do a lot better at this challenge than others. And I cannot wait to see the actual tribe emblems appear. It's going to look so cool. I have to have my eye literally on everybody at once. So I'm going to do it like this. All right. It seems like green has a little bit more pieces than blue over here. Green is in the lead. Mez. Seems to definitely have the most pieces. Mez is going along very quickly. It's looking like Ahmed and Emily might be the first ones to finish and might be enjoying some time at the sanctuary. It's currently looking like Red is in last. Ito, you got to pick up the speed. Definitely YOLO over here are in second, but it's still too early to call. The YOLO tribe is speeding along. It's looking like the Ito tribe is falling behind. Red is definitely falling behind compared to the other tribes. Oh, YOLO is going really fast. Did Ahmed quit or did Ahmed run out of pieces? That is my new question. It looks like YOLO is really piecing together that tribe emblem. Oh, YOLO is about to piece together their entire puzzle. Oh, right. And the YOLO tribe wins first place in this challenge. The besties did it again. Lindsay and Abby will be headed off to the sanctuary a little bit later, but we still have to wait to see who gets second place, whether it is the Mez tribe or the Ito tribe, because second place will be safe, but not go to the sanctuary. Did Ahmed quit? Ahmed did quit. Ahmed just stopped completing the puzzle, leaving Emily to do it all on her own. Is this sabotage is this what him and zach talked about did he does he like just want hope that 
Emily will get sent home tonight. I don't know, but Emily is being forced to do this challenge all by herself, and she's doing really well, but the Ito tribe is about to finish in front of her. And there we go. Ito wins immunity, safe from the vote tonight at Tribal Council. However, Ahmed and Emily, the newly formed Mez tribe, you guys are up for elimination. I do not know what got over Ahmed's character, or character, Sim. He just must have not wanted to complete the puzzle. It is such a shame because they were kind of in the lead for a second. But Emily, Ahmed, I'm really sorry, but you guys are going to be up for elimination at Tribal Council tonight. But we'll get to Tribal Council later. We're going to spend the afternoon with the girlies at the sanctuary. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, we are here at the sanctuary where Abby for the second episode in a row. And look at this, Lindsay's hungry. Well, Lindsay, you are about to get a great hot pot meal. Um, Abby for the second episode in a row is about to get a hot pot meal and get some quality time. If I were Lindsay right now, I would be on such a high. I like Abby and Lindsay chatted in the oh, it's dark out. Abby and Lindsay chatted in the last episode right before the tribal council and it ended up that Ava was going home right after Ava had some like weird relationships with the people on Lindsay's old tribe. So it's like I think that Lindsay definitely planted some seeds. Like I said before, she has personally had involvement with like every single person on this tribe. Like let's go down the line like was she talking to Juliana? Yep. Has she been talking to Ahmed? Yep. Was she talking to Zach? A little bit. Like, literally everybody. Lindsay is talking to everybody. And then Abby completely kind of abandoned her first tribe, didn't really talk to them, focused a lot more on the other tribe, and has great relationships with Juliana, a solid relationship with Zach on his current, on his old tribe. Like, literally all of them. They have good relationships. And it just, like, amazes me, these two. And, like, their traits are not anything out of the ordinary that I wouldn't give. Like, yeah, like, their traits are good and adventurous. And Lindsay's is... Lindsay has nothing related to her talk... To, to her talking. Like, look, I'll show you. Lindsay's is just... um Oops. Lindsay's is just like music lover, cheerful, genius, like n nothing of the sort that would make them necessarily need to be talking to everybody on the tribe, which makes it even more amazing that their Sims are only doing that. And that's really all you need to win. That's really all you need to win. So my recommendation for Lindsay and Abby at this point is and my fear for them is that they don't get too caught up in each other, that they forget about everyone else. Because as we saw this morning, Zach and Ahmed and Juliana and Emily, they are all talking. So I don't know who's going home tonight, but just because these two have strong bonds doesn't mean the other tribes don't have strong bonds too, or the other tribe mates aren't making little besties as well. So we just have... Well, if you are somebody that is rooting for Lindsay and Abby, I'm not rooting for anybody, but, like, I just love their little friendship happening. If you're rooting for them, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> you just got to be careful. We just got to make sure that we're also remembering that there's other people on the tribe because then it, they're going to look too strong. All right. It looks like the hot pot meal. Oh, the hot pot meal is not done yet. Oh, my goodness, girlies. All right. Yeah, they were chatting it up too much that they couldn't finish their meal. It is time to go back home. It is 9.30. By the time tribal happens, it's going to be late. Um, we will see the sanctuary yet again in the next episode. Um, so don't you worry. We'll be back for some more twists and tricks. Hee hee hee. Ha ha ha. All right, we're back at camp. It's a little bit late, which I fear is going to make these Sims really dry tonight. However, you know, that's if that's what it is, and that's what it is. I think we're going to go to tribal sometime around two. So I'm going to give them a solid time to socialize with each other and figure out what they're going to do. They only have two options. It's only Ahmed 
or Emily. And here is my thought process ahead of Tribal. They could either go with Emily, who's been really quiet, who they don't have, you know, great relationships with, but maybe they finally started to see that Emily has picked up her social game. You know, we saw in the last episode she started talking with Abby. We saw this episode that she had conversations with Juliana. So maybe they're like, okay, Emily is has been laying low, and now she's coming out of the woodworks, so now we need to get rid of her before she gets too dangerous. Or they can go with Ahmed, who they clearly saw through the challenge today, and they don't respect that. So they can go any which ways. It does not look like Juliana is that pleased with Ahmed. She's probably so angry because she's like, we were in this together. We were such a strong Yola. Look, Ahmed is literally like blah, blah, blah. Juliana was like, we were in this together. We were such a strong tribe and you decided to throw your challenge and potentially blow your cover and like get eliminated so i would be upset if i were her too if you had a strong relationship with somebody why wouldn't you want them to succeed i'm not saying that she didn't want the other tribe to succeed but it's just like she's probably just upset and honestly i would be too um but I don't know if that conversation that they just had benefited him at all because, again, she is voting for him. At, she could vote for him at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, honestly, whatever they can do. Again, this is the second week in a row that Emily has shown up to tribal council before I am ready for it. So, girl, you have like two hours if you want to do something, chat with more people, anybody. All right, everybody. Welcome to tribal council. Remember that we have three different tribes, but only one member of the losing tribe will be going home and that all six Simvivors are going home. This was kind of like my addition of doing the like earn the merge twist that's been happening in the new era of Survivor. As you guys know, I've been trying to put in little bits and pieces of uh, the new era. And in the new era, before they actually merge, they have to compete in teams to earn the merge so this is them earning the merge uh, by having to win the challenge to secure their spot in the individual portion of the game so let's see which five will earn their spots we have four so let's find the last one the Ito tribe, Zach and Juliana, you guys really came up from the bottom in that challenge. You were so lucky that Ahmed decided to throw it. Juliana was pretty upset with Ahmed when we came back from camp. Did that affect her vote tonight? And as we know, Zach has a really strong budding bromance with Ahmed. So did that make his vote pretty obvious? We have our winning tribe for the week, uh, the YOLO tribe. Lindsay, happy as ever. You got taken to the sanctuary for the first time and got to grow even closer to your bestie, Abby. Although you are safe this week, will this make your tribe mates a little bit skeptical of you in the coming weeks? And then, Abby, you are going to have to vote for either one of your closer friends, Emily, or somebody that you really don't have any connection to, Ahmed. How will this affect how you vote tonight? And then we have the newly formed Mez tribe. Emily, you completely had to do that challenge all by yourself. Was this a tactic from Ahmed or was he just ready to call it quits? And then Ahmed, what was your strategy behind throwing that challenge? Were you just trying to get Emily out or is this a self-sacrifice? By a vote of four to two ahmed you are safe emily the tribe has spoken yes y'all emily is gone i am easily 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 starting to think that if this was the real game of survivor survivor whatever that that was pure strategy on Ahmed's part. He was like, I don't want to go into the merge with Emily. We need to knock out people from the original Ito tribe. And he probably wants Juliana, Lindsay, and his new budding bromance, Zach, to stay strong. So he was like, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice myself. I'm going to not compete in this challenge. Emily's going to do it by herself. And I'm going to have the numbers to send her home. Really, I, I don't know what happened this week but it was very interesting to see this like three tribe twist actually come into play and i'm happy that 
Ahmed gets to stay. And I mean, even though he threw the challenge with whatever strategy that was with anything, I I'm happy that he gets to finally shine a little bit in the merge. So these five players, Zach, Juliana, Ahmed, Lindsay, and Abby have all earned the merge. We are going to enter the individual portion of the game, but I promise you there is so much more to come. Nobody is safe. But for now, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like. It's a big help, and I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Woo!